My name is Jeroen Putzes, I'm Sales Engineering Director at Aris. The most interesting aspect of what I get to do is, for me personally, is a combination of you know, being out in front with customers, trying to identify solutions collectively, and obviously that framed in the context of obviously how we can help grow the business at Aris. The larger challenges that they have is obviously the the ever-growing, I would say, need for more capacity, higher data speeds is uh, you know, a very challenging area for our customers because essentially what it means is they, they have to do tons of, let's say, network upgrade investments which are highly you know, capex driven, expensive for them. Today what we see is typically year over year the capacity growth requirements on the access network in the downstream direction, so from the head end to the home, is like 40% year over year capacity growth that needs to be established. In the upstream direction, we some, you know, somewhere see between 25 and, and 30% growth. So they're looking for solutions that they can put into the network now, can remain in the network for the next decade to come, and that's, those solutions need to be scalable. Yeah, they need to be manageable, they need to be cost effective. So again, with E6000, the CCAP platform that Aris has, um, we can you know, help address and help um, overcome these challenges uh, effectively. Um, so the E6000 is, is, is as, as you may know, a very versatile, very flexible, future-proof solution. So once it goes into the networks, uh, customer networks, then it's all about adding additional licenses, um, very flexible, easy way of upgrading that network capacity without going through forklift upgrades, without needing to rebuild, redesign, re-architecture the network every four, five years. We had one particular opportunity with E6000 in, uh, in Germany. This particular customer had a challenge with regards to head-end uh, rack space and power constraints. When we presented to this particular customer um, the E6000 power consumption evolution over time in function of capacity growth requirements, we basically were able to show them a consistent power consumption figure you know, for the next three, four years to come, whilst they add and continue to add capacity to their systems. The analysis we did for this particular customer in, in trying to overcome this challenge was we showed them that we could double um, the serving group density in terms of capacity uh, and single carrier qualms in the downstream direction um, with just 2% of additional power increase, which is next to nothing as compared to the existing legacy systems they had in place. So that was a very powerful um, you know, solution that we could offer to them. And when the E6000 as a chassis and as a solution goes into an operator's network, it can scale for the next decade and probably longer uh, to come with a range of different generation of cards that we're coming out with. So highly versatile, highly scalable um, solution that again allows them to, uh, to effectively deploy broadband services. One of the other key benefits that uh, the customer in particular recognized the fact that with the current generation hardware that E6000 supports, the DCAM1 in particular, we're now supporting DOCSIS 3.1 capability on that hardware platform. With the thought leadership, the engineering, uh, you know, great benefits and values that have been introduced in the DCAM1 platform that now allows us to add on existing capabilities, new innovation, DOCSIS 3.1 technology, just through software upgrade capability. And operators are, that have invested in E6000 recognize, wow, this is fantastic. Uh, we can just, through software upgrade, unlock that DOCSIS 3.1 capability on, on, on the existing hardware. Um, so it's all about investment protection, and again, it helps them to deliver the services, the capacity, bandwidth they need, um, and again, uh, uh, protect their investment uh, in a very cost-effective way.